Well, happy Thanksgiving week to all of you. Uh, for those of you here in the U.S., you know exactly what I'm talking about. Our holiday of Thanksgiving is tomorrow. Um, those of you who are not in the U.S., uh, you may know our holiday. I'm not sure. But it is a day devoted to the concept of giving thanks for all that we have to be thankful for. A huge day of family and fellowship and food, uh, turkey being the main focus of the day. Um, but it is, uh, you know, one of those days, it's also a day that has come to be made fun of a lot by uh, comedians, television shows, etc., for being a day of great um, pressure, uh, family squabbles, things like that, um, you know, so that it, a day that highlights all of the dysfunctions in some families, uh, it's always kind of a funny one, and yet for those families that have it, they I totally get it. Um, but it is a very popular holiday uh, here in the U.S., and I like the concept of giving thanks. Of course, it dates way back to when this country was first being founded. It was We weren't even a country yet. And as the pilgrims um, were trying to, you know, survive, uh, and that here comes the winter on the East Coast here in the United States, the native, uh, now Native Americans, the Indians as they called them, you know, at the time, uh, and they were, it was a time of kind of coming together. At least that's the image. Okay, that's the image that has been portrayed for hundreds of years, that the Indians and the pilgrims, they were giving thanks for, you know, and I think it was the pilgrims giving thanks for the Indians being there to help them get through that first winter. That's an image that I was taught um, and a story that I was taught as a kid, and it's just kind of endured. One of the classic pictures, cartoons, if you will, that you will see, you know, of drawings of things about Thanksgiving are pilgrims in their black kind of tall hats and their black ja jackets with white shirts, and then the Indians and them all sharing food together. You know, who knows how realistic that was? There's a really good chance, given the way that ultimately the way the, the white people treated the Indians that were here, there's a good chance that that was kind of a, I don't know if made up is the right word, but certainly an embellished type of story. I, I don't know. And I'm not, I don't want to talk, you know, I'm not here to talk the politics. I'm here to talk about the concept of giving thanks because it's a great concept. And if it in fact did happen that way for whoever may have started this concept of Thanksgiving, kudos to all the people who were involved in that. And if it didn't, you know, we we know we're it's not a great uh, part of our American history, and we need to be better. But the concept of giving thanks to others is a great thing. And this week, being devoted to that, I've always loved the concept, and I've hated the execution in that, well, why devote one day? <laughs> why devote one day or week to that concept? Shouldn't we be this way all the time? Shouldn't we be thankful for the people in our lives and the things that we have all the time? Of course we should. But life comes, steps up. I talked about that last week. Better late than never. Life steps up, gets in the way of things. Here we go. Got to go to work. Got to do this. Got to do that. And okay, I kind of, you know, forgot to be thankful for what I do have. You know, and a lot of us end up focusing on what we don't have or the problems. For those of you who listen to my podcast, Great Quotes for Coaches, you heard me talk uh, this past Monday, uh, if you listened to it by you know then, uh, about two quotes by John Maxwell about this concept. I uh, have been in the middle of, I'm very far into a series of quotes by John Maxwell, the great leadership uh, and productivity and growth guru. Um, and uh, that, in fact, that was the 24th episode, I think, um, on Maxwell quotes. And I'm going to finish those off. We're going to finish the year off 
uh, you know, with uh, by finishing with John Maxwell quotes. Then in January, we're going to start things, you know, start some new ones. And I'm gonna, I would like to interview other coaches like I did a year ago. So if you're interested, by the way, and you know, if you if you use quotes in your coaching or you just have some great quote that you love that's really been you know inspirational for you, I'd love to interview you. So get in touch with me at Scott at SlamDunkSuccess.com and we'll get you on the show. But anyway, uh, there's I had two quotes about thankfulness that John Maxwell had. And I had not seen these. Um, I was in the middle of the series, had I have a, a, a document with a ton of his quotes. But I had not seen these, so I looked up online to see, because I know he talks about thankfulness. I read so many of his books, and I know he talks about it. So I came up with two quotes. I'm going to read them off my computer screen for you. Um, no, this is not the Great Quotes for Coaches podcast right now. This is you know, the Slam Dunk Success videos, but they're really good, and they focus on what I'm focusing on today, thankfulness. I love this first one. Well, I love them both. The English word thanks comes from the same root word as think. Maybe if leaders were more thinkful about the contribution of others, they would be more thankful to them. I love that concept. The idea that, first of all, as a leader, so think about it, coaches, as leaders of the young people that you coach, how well are you giving them thanks and showing how thankful you are to have them in your life, right? And the concept that, well, maybe we need to think more about them in order to then be thankful for them and then communicate that to them. And so leaders who think more about their teams, and I'm sure he was not necessarily talking about a sports team. He was probably talking about like CEOs, you know, people who are leading companies, things like that, people like that. The idea that if you would think more of your people and for your people, maybe you would thank them more and be more thankful to them. Because how do you feel when someone shows thanks to you and is shows how thankful they are for you being in their lives, right? Well, it, it lifts you up. It makes you feel better. Well, why are why wouldn't you do that for your, the team that you you lead? That you know, and I'm not saying you don't, but I'm saying there are those out there who kind of take that stuff for granted. And this is who I think he was talking to: those leaders who don't necessarily think too much about the people. They're just thinking about the bottom line. They're just thinking about the production. They're just thinking about in our world winning games, as opposed to no, no. I want to think about the players on my team and what can I do to provide them the best experience possible? Because the more I think about them, right, the more thankful it will make me realize I am for having them in my life. And then I need to communicate that to them more often. And that's where the second quote comes in. And this one is, oops, I got to move my mouse because the screen just went away. This one gets, whoops really powerful, I think. Silent gratitude isn't much good to anyone. You can say that you have gratitude for whatever things in your life. You can say that in your head. You can say that to your spouse or to some friends. You know? But true gratitude is expressed to the people for whom you have that gratitude. And so keeping it inside, keeping it to yourself, ultimately isn't doing a whole lot of good. Uh, Bruce Brown from Proactive Coaching, the organization that I speak on behalf of around the country, I always loved how he says this, don't wait until the banquet to let your kids know how much you love them. Don't wait for the end of season banquet to talk about how great these kids are and let them know. Let them know throughout the season. Let them know through all your time together how thankful you are for them. And so to any of you who might be former players of mine or current players of mine, please let me express to you how much I, I truly, truly enjoyed our experience together. And I tried to, ex to express that through the years, but I'm a human. Maybe I failed uh, on, at times on that, especially in my younger years. You know, didn't necessarily understand that concept as well. But... I am friends with 
on Facebook, and you know, I'll see occasionally so many former players, some of them in their 50s now, from back in at Carmel Catholic in, in uh, Mundelein, Illinois. You know, some of my good friends on Facebook loved my, those are my boys, you know, and my students as well. So my boys and the girls, okay, loved all of you. And the same with here in Livingston and in, uh, in Granger in Washington. I mean, my, those experiences are just, I, I cannot express enough what they meant to me and how much I treasure them because of you. And so I am so thankful to have you in my life and to have had you in my life when we were together. Hopefully I was able to get that across while we were together. Hopefully my boys that I'm coaching right now know how much I care about them. I think they do because they hear me say it all the time. I just said it afterward in practice last night, said it after our game on Tuesday. I just love coaching them. Well, coaches, make sure the people that you are leading know, okay? Because as Maxwell says, Silent gratitude isn't much good to anyone. Spread that with those words. Let those kids know and let your co your fellow coaches, your assistant coaches, and of course, all the people in your life for whom you're grateful. You know, teachers, for your students, for your fellow teachers, all of you. Let those people know how grateful you are to have them in your life and how thankful you are that they're a part of your life. Love that message. Love those two quotes. Check out the podcast, the uh, Great Quotes for Coaches podcast. Whatever, it's the most recent uh, episode, I believe, 139, maybe? Anyway, check it out, and you'll see, um, and uh, you'll hear those quotes, and I go into a bit more detail on it, but pretty much the same message here. So, happy Thanksgiving to all of you, and uh, we'll talk to you again next time.